What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Meddler here. I'm back with a brand new album ranking. Yes, I know it's been a little while for me to rank them. And as y'all may know by the title, yes, I'm doing the Seether album ranking from worst to best. Took me a while, too, since there's nine albums in total. Wikipedia keeps saying there's eight albums, but there's actually nine of them. They need to fix that shit. Because one of the albums is under a different title, which is their debut album. But yeah, there's actually nine albums by Seether. Um, so, yeah. And Seether will be the last new ranking that I'm going to rank in a while. Maybe the last one in 2021. Maybe it's unofficial because um, the next four uh, bands that I'm ranking will be re-ranks. I'll tell you the bands at the end of the video. So, yeah, enough talk. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the Cedar ranking. Alright, now starting up as their worst at number nine, I'm going to pick their last album. I can't pronounce it right. It's C.V. Pick. The Cam Parabellum, I can't pronounce that name. This album is fucking boring in my opinion. Oh my god, I just fell asleep in that album. This is bo that album bored me to death. Ugh. Talking about it makes me want to fall asleep. Um, I can't say it's bad, so I'm gonna I ha I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. I have no tracks for this album, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. So yeah, their C last album C V S P S whatever that fucking title is will have to come in at number nine. All right, now at number eight, I'm gonna pick their debut album Fragile. Um, yeah, this is the band's former title named Sarin Gas, but they have to change the title because due to their, I think their record label made them change it to Cedar because I think it's something to do with the gas bombs or some shit like that. I don't know. This is under a title of a different name. That's the, uh, Cedar's original band name called Sarin Gas. Uh, most of the songs on there are pretty much the original versions of their, um, of their next album, Disclaimer. But there's some original ones. I do like the song Beer for some reason. I kind of like that one. This one sounds very different. It kind of has more like it's... It sounds more like the industrial rock type sound to it. It sounded very different than their future releases. It kind of has this industrial rock sound to it throughout. Which is sort of interesting. But um, I'm not a fan of this one. Um, I can't say it's bad. The production kind of sucks, so... I mean, I have to give it a 4 out of 10. It's pretty mediocre, to be quite honest. But I have to put it above their latest album because I think this one's a bit enjoyable. So, yeah, I only like the song Beer. The rest, I just don't care for. Cedars or Sarin Gas's Fragile album would have to come in at number 8. Alright, at number 7, they, this may piss a lot of people off. Well, except Market Punk. And he knows where I'm going to put that out. He knows what album it is, since he hates it. But the rest, it may piss y'all off. I mean, I don't think the album is bad. But that album that I'm going to put at number seven, it's going to be Finding Beauty in Negative Spaces. Sorry, guys. I think this album is severely overrated. I can see why Mark hate, Mark Punk hates this album. To me, I don't think it's, it's... The album is not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad at all. I just don't like the tone of this album. I I mean, I understand why this album was made. What I read on Wikipedia, this was dedicated to Sean Morgan's brother who committed suicide by jumping off the building, which is a really sad to hear. And the reason why I put it low is because it kind of sounds very depressing to me at times. That's why I put it low, and I'm not really a fan of depression tuning music. That's why I had to put it so low. But the songs I do like from here are like Suicide, Fake It's an Awesome Song. That's one of their most popular. Fallen, No G No Jesus Christ, Eyes of the Devil, and Don't Believe. So yeah, those are the only six songs I like from this one. I mean, it's an okay album, but it gets really boring after a while. 
So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Um, I don't hate this album, just so y'all know. I don't hate it. I know many of you guys love the hell out of this album, but to me, um, as let me know, I grew up some of the Cedar songs. I didn't grow up with them entirely, in case I'm wondering. That's why I had to put this a lot lower than, you, than most of you do. So, yeah, Fine Beauty and Negative Spaces will have to be at number seven for me. All right, now at number six, I got um, their second album, Disclaimer One, um, or their debut album if you want to, if you don't want to count their previous album. So yeah, Disclaimer One. Yes, I include Disclaimer Two on there, but I'm going to talk about it later, whenever I get there. So yeah, um, Disclaimer One. Um, it's an okay album. It's actually pretty decent, but it's nowhere near their best. But it's actually a cool debut for them, to be honest. So I'm not going to lie. It's a cool debut for them. Well, but a much better album than their Sarin Gas album. Um, but not perfect, though, I would say. I don't, I don't really go back to it that much. But the songs I do like from here are... Um, let me look here. The songs I do like from this album are Gasoline, Fine Again... Needles, Pride, Sympathetic, Your Boar, Pig, and Fuck It. So yeah, those are the songs I do like from this album. I'll say it's a pretty decent album. Not one of my favorites, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's actually a pretty cool debut for them. So yeah, see there's Disclaimer 1 will have to be at number 6 for me. Alright, now at number 5... I'm going to pick uh, Poison the Parish. Um, yeah, this album came out in 2017. Um, a lot of people said it's their best in a long time. I partially agree. But um, like I said, I wasn't too heavy on Cedar a long time ago, in case y'all are wondering. Um, so yeah, in some way, yeah, I'll say it's one of their heavier albums. What are you doing? Sorry. Ma'am, quit it. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, but besides all that, here's the songs I do like from this album. Stroke the Fire, Betray and Degrade, Something Else, I'll Survive, uh, Saviors, Nothing Left, Count Me Out, and Sell My Soul. So yeah, those are the songs from this album. I'll say it's a good album, but it's nowhere near my favorite. So, Place in the Parish, I will give it a 7 out of 10. I'll say it's good. That's pretty much it I have to say here. Um, really good album, but I don't think it's their best in my opinion. So, Place in the Parish would have to come in at number, number 5 for me. I almost said 7 for some reason. But yeah, it's at five. Moving on. Okay, now at number four. I know a lot of you put it very low for some reason. But this one's kind of a guilty pleasure album for me. And I'm going to pick Holding On To The Strings Better Left To Fray. I like differences from Seether. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the change for it. it. I know it doesn't really sound like Seether, but I like the changes from it. I'm not going to lie. I know maybe Cedar fans hate it, but for me, I quite enjoy this one. It's not one of their best, but I do quite enjoy it. So yeah, kind of underrated though. Here are the songs I do like from this album. For Q, No Resolution, Here and Now, Country Song's an awesome song. Master of Disaster, Tonight, Fade Out, Down. Desire for Need, and Forsaken. So those are the songs I do like from this one. But yeah, um, very underrated album, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I think it's a great album, and I feel like this album deserves a second chance if y'all didn't care for, for, for the first try. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say here for this album. I do like the changes for this, for this band. So, yeah, it has to come in at number four for me. So, 
It's a long ass title. What's the What's the name of the album again? Holding on to sticks. Holding on to strings. Better left to to fray. Will have to come in at number four for me. All right. Now at number three, I got disclaimer two. Now. Before I start talking about it, I'm going to let y'all know I'm ignoring the songs that are from the first album. I'm only talking about the songs that's only in Disclaimer 2, not from Disclaimer 1. So, I'm going to be ignoring the Disclaimer 1 songs since I've already talked about it. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I actually quite enjoy this one, to be nonetheless. Now, I also forgot to mention 3 and 1 is where I like all the songs, by the way. Just so you know. Um, so yeah, Disclaimer 2, I actually enjoyed this album. A lot of people put this at number 1 for some reason, but I didn't put it at 1, mainly because it's a bit too short. Like I said before, I'm ignoring the first 12 songs. So, um, yeah. What are you doing? Hey, I, I, are you trying to cause trouble? Sorry. Yeah, I like all the songs, so here are the songs I like. Um, Sold Me, Got It Made, Cigarettes, Love Her, Take Me Away, um, Out of My Way, Hang On, and Broken, which features Amy Lee from um, Evanescence. Am I going to rank Evanescence in the future? I don't know. I did not grow up with that band, just so y'all know. Um, I was never a fan of them, so, but there is a chance of me ranking them, but not right now. So, yeah, I might do in the future, I don't know. Like I said before, I did not grow up with them, so, I might do Evanescence in the future, I'm not sure. So, yeah, Broken, which is a acoustic, more like an acoustic version than their original version, but yeah. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. I can tell many people why they put it a lot high. There's no arguing in that. But it's at number three for me. It's just personal preference. I know many you put it at one or two, but for me, it's at number three. But I still enjoy it, so I'll give it a nine out of ten. Amazing album. I mean, if y'all put it at ten out of ten, I would no argument in that, but for me, it's a nine out of ten. It's still a very high rating, so... And that's all I have to say here. So, Disclaimer 2 will have to be at number 3 for me. Alright, now, at number 2, I got Karma and Effect. I know many of y'all will put it at 1 or 2 as well. But for me, well, yeah, it's at number 2. And I love all the songs from this album, so... Um, so, yeah, here, here it is. All the songs, I actually enjoy this one. Because of me, Remedy's an awesome fucking song. Truth, The Gift, Burrito, Given, Never Leave, World Falls Away, Tongue, I'm the One. Does that remind me of the other song by a different I don't know. Simplest Mistake, Diseased, Plastic Man, and there's a hidden track called uh, Chord, no, Come. Say met my no, not the band corn. Come say uh, I can't ever pronounce that name, but yeah, it's come for me in English. Come with me in English. So yeah, um, I really do enjoy this album. Um, I know many put people put it as their fan favorite. I wouldn't blame you if you put it at one. So yeah, fucking enjoy the shit out of this one. But it's at number two. I'll give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Karma in Effect will have to be at number two for me. Alright, now at number one, this may shock a lot of people, including Market Punk. I don't know. But I'm going to pick Isolate and Medicate. I know it's a shocker that I put it at my number one favorite, so here's the reason why. I like, I really love the tone in this album. It kind of has this. Um, I don't know, um, forced feel to it. it kind of sounds like, sounds like one of those albums you live up in the mountains. That's where I used to live at years ago. Uh, as you let me know, I'm from Texas, so, well, I live in Texas. That's where I'm at right now. And I used to live, like, way up in the mountains. 
that's kind of what it sounds like to me. It kind of, that it's really up my alley here. So that's why I had to put it at one, in my opinion. And yes, out of all songs, including the bonus tracks. So here are the songs. See You at the Bottom, Sam, Same Damn Life, Words as Weapons. All right, Words as Weapons. I've heard that song before way long time ago um, when I was at work. I used to work at a movie theater and then during the cleaning sections. Okay, whenever you go to the movies and whenever before the ads start, you hear like music playing in the background. That song was played in the background many times before. I didn't know this song was by Cedar at first until I heard it. So, yeah, that's what just fucking awesome. So, yeah, Words is, is what was played before while I was at work. Um, my Disaster, Crash, Self It All, Watch Me Down. Nobody Praying For Me. That song was also played while I was at work a long time ago as well. Keep the Dogs at Bay, Save Today, and then there's the four bonus tracks. Turn Around, Burn the World, Goodbye Tonight with Van Coke Cartel. I don't know who that is. And Week, which is from Cedar's uh, Greatest Hits album. And look at that cover of the Greatest Hits album. It's a cover of a dog taking a shit. I mean, really? But yeah, I, this is actually my favorite Cedar album. I actually like the psychedelic sound to it. I don't know why. It sounds very trippy. It's kind of like those albums to listen to while getting high. No, I'm not a pothead, guys. Just so y'all know, I don't smoke pot. I don't I don't smoke in general, to be honest. So yeah. But still, it's my number one favorite. I it's just this. I don't know why. But yeah. Um Isolate and Medicaid will have to be my number one favorite. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's a ten out of ten. Fuck, I forgot to add a rating on here. Ten out of ten, perfect album. Alright, now Isolate and Medicaid comes in at number one. Alright guys, that is my Cedar ranking from worst to best. And what is your Cedar album ranking from worst to best? Let me know in the comments. And yes, um, now here are the four upcoming four bands that I will be re-ranking in order. The next band I'm re-ranking is going to be Exodus since they have a new album coming out in a few days. So... Urge, and then after Exodus, it'll be Bullet for My Valentine, since they had a new album already out last week, or a few weeks ago, I don't know. Then Limp Biscuit, and then Dream Theater. So yeah, the next four bands, it'll be re-ranks. So yeah, the next re-ranking band I will do is Exodus. So yeah, stay tuned, because Exodus is definitely next. And that's pretty much all I have to say here, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the fucking video already. So, if you enjoy this video, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell for the notification. Make sure you leave a like and comment. And most importantly, share this video so I can get more views and subscribers. So, until then, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everyone.